Hello everyone and thank you so much for stopping by if this is your first time here. My name is Natalia and for today's video we're going to be doing a try on haul. I purchased quite a lot of makeup. So Ulta was having their spring sale whatever it's called um, and they basically just discount a lot of drugstore items and they make them like 30% off 50% off whatever it really depends on the brand but you can get really really good prices on items that are already discounted which is what I did so this is going to be kind of a mix of different things that I've already either tried or that are brand new to me so we're going to have a mix of both right now I really really need to go through my makeup and do like a declutter because a lot of my foundations look like they're expired a lot of my concealers are expired so there's a lot of makeup that I don't even touch because I know that it's old so I just need to remove it from my collection and kind of be able to see when I open my drawers what's new what's not so with that mentality i kind of purchased a lot of makeup so that i could replace what i already have let me show you guys so this is how much makeup we purchased um there's a mixture of like skincare hair care and makeup so we're gonna go through it and i'm gonna show you everything that i got like i said all this was discounted and it came out to like maybe a hundred dollars because what i did is i had some ulta points so i used it on this and i think it ended up being like no actually it was probably like 150 because i used 125 dollars uh, of points and then i paid like 25 or something so got a great deal got a quite a, a lot of items some i've already used um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and play with some makeup today i'll have everything that i use and show linked in the description box below in case you guys want to chop any of it let's go ahead and get right into what we purchased all right, so I'm going to show you guys a few items that we will not be trying today because they're either hair care or skin care. So the first one that I got is from number seven, and it's our Lift and Illuminate um, Triple Action Day Lotion. And I really like this one because it has an SPF of 30. And I used to use this a lot, but I kind of forgot about it, and I started using other things. But I really, really like this um, face moisturizer I feel like it gives you like enough hydration and illumination without it being like too too much and it looks really pretty under makeup so this is what it looks like they released this one which is fragrance free and um, so this is kind of gonna be like the consistency and let me put a little bit on the back of my hand so you guys can see as you guys can see like it doesn't have like too much of a white cast once you blend it in but it does give the skin like this really healthy pretty glow then i also picked up the pipette pipette overnight brightening mask this one i have not used yet but i was really excited to pick it up so basically what it's supposed to do is uh this gentle yet effective exfoliating mask is designed for expecting and postpartum moms and works while you sleep and address discoloration and dullness in the morning wake up to soft moisturized skin and visibly brighter more even tone complexion what's that for multitasking mama so i'm not expecting i'm not postpartum however i do have sensitive skin and i really like this brand because it's a clean brand and it's also cruelty free so i thought this could be a good one to try out and it's supposed to boost glow and reduce the look of dark spots so I don't know. We'll try it out and see what we think. And then I got this one from Kinship. This is the Self Smooth 10% Glycolic Resurfacing Serum, which is supposed to exfoliate, brighten, and nourish. Um, I've used this a few times, and you're supposed to use it like three times a week. But I've used it, and almost every time that I've used it, I woke up with like little red spots all over my face. Like you guys can see a few that were left over from the weekend like it looks really 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 irritated so i think this might be one that i might have to return because i don't think my skin likes it very much and then i got the pacifica vegan silk overnight peptide serum which is supposed to smooth nourish and repair and it's for dry and damaged hair so the way you use it is applied to hair starting at ends before styling can be applied to dry hair as an overnight treatment so if you guys don't know my hair is obviously color treated i do have 
curly hair i blow dry it i sit in it i do all the things to it so i wanted to look for something that was a little bit more that was a little bit better for my hair and i thought this could be a good one um so we're gonna try it out and see i have not tried it yet but it's supposed to smooth nourish and shine and repair dry damaged hair with biomimetic vegan silk peptides film formers also support hair color and help protect from chemical damage so it sounded really good i like the pacifica brand i also like that the bottle it's like a glass bottle which was pretty cool i have a lot of makeup in front of me probably will not be able to try everything on today because i only have one face but whatever i don't try i will be trying maybe like in a vlog or a future video or something all right so we're nice and zoomed in so typically I like to start with my eyes and i'm gonna start with the ulta beauty i'm primer and i typically will use about that much so a little like tiny tiny amount and i just rub it between my fingers i really need to do my eyebrows and i keep forgetting they're pretty crazy right now So there you guys can see the primer this is without primer with primer and see how it just kind of just evens out your skin tone but it doesn't add like a ton of color also do you guys like my nails i just did them yesterday i think they came out really pretty okay so for the eyes we have the covergirl clean color quad and this is in 262 golden toffee and I just thought this one looked really, really pretty. I feel like this is something that I would probably use if I end up liking it. Also got the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Ritz. I heard that this is supposed to be a dupe for the Urban Decay Moon Shadows, I think they're called. However, I don't have the Moon Shadows, so I couldn't tell you. But it looked really similar, so I got that. And then I also got the It Cosmetics Superhero No Tug shadow stick and this is beautiful i got it in the shade passionate pearl and it's one of these like chunky kind of pencils but how pretty does that look oh that looks so pretty so i would probably use this more like an inner corner highlight i don't think i've ever tried any color pop um color pop what am i saying any cover girl um eyeshadows so i was very excited to hear good things about this one so that we could try it out and the palette the pans are actually pretty big and i love that it has like the little clouds on them super cute all right so we're gonna start with a fluffy brush and i'm just gonna go in to the darkest shade i guess so typically i would have loved to have seen a lighter um shadow just to do like more blending but i think we can make it work Hopefully it's not like super pigmented. And I barely even tapped my brush. And you guys can see how much pigment it has. It has actually a lot of pigment. And I think these were, so I'm barely going in, back in. These were, I think like 12 maybe or 10 or something like that. And they were, of course, discounted. And to be honest, for a quad, I feel like that's kind of expensive, especially when um, e.l.f. is doing theirs for, like, $3.99. The quality is great. Let me show you guys in comparison. All right, so just for comparison, this is the e.l.f. one. And that's the cover girl. And you guys can see, like, the size difference. Obviously, the e.l.f. one is going to be a lot smaller. But for me, I feel like I don't need... It to be much bigger than this like for me i would have rather it been smaller and cheaper than bigger and more expensive because i mean i'm never going to go through a whole eyeshadow also if you guys are looking for something similar you guys can get this one which is the cream and sugar or the mm, i like you a latte which also has fall mattes and it's really similar to this so I don't know. I guess it just really depends on what you're looking for or the brand that maybe you prefer CoverGirl stuff. I don't know. But it's not working out. 
but if you buy these two, which would be three ninety nine, still comes out to be cheaper than one of these. So I would still recommend the ones from e.l.f. because I think they're just really, really good palettes for affordable price. But I really wanted to try this one and see for myself what I thought about it. Also, the ones from e.l.f. I feel like are not as pigmented, so you don't need to be as like careful with like your placement and stuff. And I feel like they're more like beginner friendly. All right, so I'm gonna use one of the shimmers. So it has two different ones on each corner. And then I'm probably gonna line with, ooh, that's really powdery. All right, so that's gonna be this one right there. That's really pretty. And then there's this one. So this is probably gonna be a really pretty like inner corner. So I'll probably apply this one all over the lid, this one here, and then this one more like in the inner corner. This one's a lot more like powdery. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it right there, how powdery it is like when you swatch it. It's very, maybe not powdery, but it's very soft. So if you do your eyes after your foundation, it might have some fallout. We'll see. So that's pretty. Nothing revolutionary, but it's pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the other shimmer up here on a different finger. That one's a lot smoother. And then just place that on the inner part just to kind of brighten things a little bit. We just started watching um beef on netflix which is basically about two people that have like just rage and so far it's really interesting i don't know where it's gonna go but it's very interesting so let me know if you guys have seen it i don't know i don't know how i feel about it yet so i think i'm gonna go into the color pop just for the heck of it and see if we can add any more dimension so you guys can see that's what it looks like it has like um like a brown base with a lot of shimmer. I just wanna see if I can make my eyes a little bit more shimmery. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know how much it matches the rest of the eye, but I made it look a little bit more glossy, I feel like. All right, and then I'm gonna grab the darkest shade, which is this one right here, and I'm gonna just take it on like a small little brush and then do like a faux liner and see how dark it is. I think it's gonna be pretty dark just because the lighter one was already dark and I barely even tapped it. And it looks like the, it has like some shimmer throughout it, but I feel like unless you're like packing it on you're not gonna really be able to see it i've had this makeup sitting in my room for quite a few days but uh we all got sick so i was not able to make this video earlier which is kind of a bummer because i wanted to get this out sooner but you know life sometimes just is interesting so it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be, which is fine, but that's going to be a lot more pigmented of a brown. All right, so we'll stop there for now. So now I'm going to move on to the face and I did get a little bit of fallout from the eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. It's not too much, but oh, actually it is quite a lot. More on this side than the other one. I wonder if it's on my lashes. Cause I feel like sometimes that can happen when you're doing your shimmer that it can get stuck on your lashes. So then when you're blinking, it'll start to fall on your face. Okay, so for the primer, I actually have an under eye primer, which I'm very excited to try out. This is from Revolution. And it's their Line Fix Under Eye Primer Rehab, which is supposed to be an under eye primer to smooth and fill fine lines before makeup application. I've heard Taylor Wynn talk about this a lot, like that she can tell a difference when she uses this versus when she doesn't. 
And then I saw Jessica Braun, I'm pretty sure, use it. She was saying how she can actually tell a difference when she uses it. The packaging is so pretty. I feel like it looks very high end. Doesn't it? I feel like it's giving me like one size or I don't know. That's the product on the inside. So it's very nice and thick. I'm trying to think how I want to apply it. So I'm just going to grab some of that. So that is going to be more like lotion looking. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So it feels very smooth. All right, so there it is on the under eye. I feel like you can't really see much, but I can definitely feel it under there, but it doesn't feel like greasy or heavy or anything like that. So I'm excited to see what the concealer will look like on top. And then for my rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer, and then we'll come back to do the rest of the face. So I do have a corrector from Tinted. This is their Hue Stick and I got it in the shade Perk. And this is supposed to be, I think, an all over eye kind of thing. So it says uh, swipe on lips, cheeks, and eyes for buildable, blendable, weightless matte color. Uh, packed with hyaluronic acid, squalene, vitamin C, and E. And it's supposed to also like color correct. It's gonna be like a giant crayon. Looks like that. And that's the shade right there. This was the lightest shade that they had. So, I don't know. We'll just try it out and see what happens. If it comes out terribly wrong, well, you know, we tried. So I'm gonna apply some on my under eyes because I have a lot of darkness. Right in here. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I never really know how to use these. And I'm just going to use the same brush that I used for the primer. And just lightly blend it in. Alright, so there we have it kind of blended out. For my foundations, we have three different ones. I got the Nude Sticks, uh, what is this called? Nude Sticks Daily Mineral Veil, and this has tint in it. But I got the shade tan thinking that it would work for me. And I think the only way that it's going to work is if I use it with actual makeup. So for example, just putting this all over my face and then some concealer that's lighter and the rest of it just to kind of brighten things up because it is quite dark. But the shade that I wanted never came back in stock and I didn't want the colorless. And yeah, so now we're kind of stuck with this one, but I don't think I want to use this one today. I do have also the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. I used to love this foundation and it kind of went bad. I got rid of it and now I'm excited to have it again. I got the shade Light 50W and then I also got the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator in Light Medium. I also loved this one a lot so I'm excited to have it for summer. But I don't know which one I want to use. I think I'm going to use the Pretty Fresh one. Just because I know that I like this one already, so I don't need to use it. But this one, it's been quite a while since I've had it. So I'm excited to give it a try again. Alright, so I ended up just kind of sitting on the floor. And I think this angle still sort of works, hopefully. Uh, because my foot was just not happy about it. And also, I think we're kind of crooked. But, you know, we're just going to move forward. Um, so this is the Pretty Fresh Foundation. It's supposed to be cruelty-free. I did have another shade before. But I think it might have been maybe too light or there was something wrong with it which is why i never really used it their packaging is plastic and you get a whole fluid ounce so we're gonna do we're gonna do about a pump and i'm just gonna put it on with a brush because i've been actually really enjoying doing that um but i do like using also sponges i've just been really lazy to basically wet my sponges and i'm just gonna use the Haley beauty brush And I remember having like 
this having quite a quite a lot of and I remember this having like a good amount of coverage and like I said like really liking the finish I had and everything so I think I was reminded by it because I saw somebody post about how they were using theirs and I was like oh yeah forgot about that I always said that I was gonna pick it back up and I just kind of never did also when I get the it cosmetics um your skin but better foundation again because I really liked that one but I feel like I got a good amount of foundations on these last few purchases that I made so I'm kind of holding back on buying anything more all right so there we have the base I feel like it looks really nice and we didn't even use the whole pump I think it could have been fine with just half a pump we're gonna stop right there and then we're gonna move on to the concealers which I'm also very excited about so I got two basically like refills I guess you can say I got the wet and wild incognito um, concealer and I got it in the shade light honey I love this concealer so so much and I actually gifted mine to my sister so I did not have it anymore and I'm excited to have it again this is like five dollars such a good concealer and then I got the NYX bear with me concealer in the shade beige I actually gave mine to my mom so I was out of this one as well but how I like using this one is kind of like and all over foundation so I'll just apply like little dabs to like the areas where my face needs it the most and that's how I use this one or as a concealer as well I mean it works either way but this is a really good one for all over foundation kind of thing and I got this one from it cosmetics this is the bye bye under eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer and I've heard really good things about this one um they have a mini which is what I got and it was on sale and I got it in the shade light natural I'm a little bit nervous about this one because I've heard that it can be a little bit finicky to use and this is what it looks like so it's gonna be a squeezy tube so I'm gonna start with that much and see what we can do and I'm just gonna take it on the rare beauty brush I think I'm going to use my finger. What do we think? Wow. That definitely covered very well. I mean, I am wearing the base and the corrector, but overall, I feel like I did a really good job at covering my under eyes darkness so, so I'm gonna add just a tiny bit to like right here where I have the most darkness I'm curious on how this would apply with more like a sponge just because I feel like it is quite thick and it doesn't look bad with a brush but I think it might apply better with a sponge because I feel like it would shear it out a little bit but what do you guys think i think it looks really nice so i do have a few cream products that i'm extremely extremely excited about so i ended up getting the three halo glows from elf i got the highlight the contour and the blush as you guys know i'm not huge on blushes so i'm a little bit nervous about this one um but we're gonna try it out and see so for let's see the shades where are they so this is the champagne highlight this is the light medium contour and this is going to be the rosé usle blush and this is kind of like what i thought would work really well with my skin tone and then let me show you guys the other products we have we also have the la girl cream blush soft matte in grace this i've heard really good things about so we're going to swatch it and see and then i got the essence um kissed by the light and i got it in sun kissed which looked to be more like a bronzer and then i got star kissed which looks to be more of like a blush so i'm excited 
to give those a try. We'll see if we try them out today. And then I got this one, which is the Essence Pure Nude in Be My Light. I love this for a very long time. Mine kind of went bad, so I decided to pick up a new one. These are super, super cheap, super affordable, and they're amazing. They look beautiful with basically anything that you want to wear. And then this is the ColourPop Pressed Powder Highlight. And I got it in the cold one shade. I think this was a dupe for something that I wanted to buy, and I can't remember what it was for. If I can find it, I'll pop it on the screen. I'm not going to try this one, but I do want to swatch it and see what it looks like. So it comes in a little tube. I love the packaging. It's very pretty. So let's tiny dab. Oh, wow. That's going to be very pigmented. I feel like this is one that I would apply probably with like a sponge. But that's really pretty. I feel like this would be like a very pretty shade for me. And I like that it doesn't have like shimmer or anything like that in it. All right. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's in a little squeezy tube. And I don't think you can open and close it, which is kind of a bummer because I feel like it's going to make a mess. So let me go ahead and swatch them. So I think actually once it's inside, it presses down on it and it doesn't open, but I'm not sure. I wish the blush would have been not shimmery. All right, so here is a blush and Rosé Yousle. Then we have the contour in light medium in the middle. And then last but not least, we have this highlight and it's in the shade um, Champagne. So they look really pretty. I guess we'll start with the contour. Let's see. We'll go that much. And I do have the liquid blush kind of thing from e.l.f. So I'm going to use that and see so I don't think it's picking up the makeup at least not that I can tell is it I don't know I can't tell I don't think I like that brush though so let me switch over to this one from elf also the stipple brush I think I might have picked up a little bit of the makeup, but I can't really tell. Oh yeah, this brush is much better for that. So I think I picked up a little bit right here. I don't know, maybe. All right, so we'll put like two dots there. And a few dots there. Oh yeah, I like a lot better how that blended on this side versus that side. I feel like on this side, I definitely did pick up more of the foundation. I'm gonna apply a few more dots. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. All right, so now let's move on to the blush. Let me um, start by saying I'm not very good at blush. So this might be an epic fail, but we'll do it for the research. I don't think I'm just going to do that much. And I have this other e.l.f. brush, so we'll use this one. It's like the double one. Let's see. We regret it. It's already drying up. I think it took too long. All right, so you kind of have to work fast with the blush. I'm not really loving the blush, but it could just be me because, like I said, I'm not very good at blush. I think I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't really like that. So I'm gonna wait to apply this product, the highlight, because I wanna do some of the um, essence ones that I got. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of my NYX No Filter HD powder. So the 
concealer is actually getting very creasy. I think it's because, like I said, it's a very thick kind of product. All right, and then for my under eyes, I'm just going to set them with the LYS powder. All right, so we're going to use these two from Essence, and I'm very excited. So it has, like, this really pretty sun design, and supposedly if you just go back and forth, you should get, like, a bronzer shade. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't think that looks like a bronzer very much. Um, let me try out the highlight or the blush looking one. That looks like a highlight. What the heck? I mean, it's pretty. Hmm. Well. Let me see if I can just kind of put this kind of like here and then just kind of go back and forth. It looks kind of dark, but it doesn't apply like that. And then we'll kind of put it like here. Oh yeah, that's very shimmery. Oh, I don't like that. It looks very golden. Let me try this other one instead. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing, just kind of go back and forth. And then I don't know I just feel like I think it looks really pretty on the viewfinder but in person it looks very makeup-y well I do have two more highlights to use but now I don't even know if we should use them you know what let's just use it so I'm gonna use the elf one See if we can tame down the color of this other one. That looks pretty. Let me put some on my brow bone. Ooh, that's pretty. But we'll just have to save this for another time because I think the highlight is a little bit crazy right now, but that's okay I kind of like it all right and then for the brows I do have this one from NYX this is their NYX the brow glue and I heard that a lot of people loved the original one and then they came out with the tinted ones I never tried the original one without tint so when I saw they had this one I figured let's give it a try I do like their brow I think it's like slick and whatever um in like their purple packaging I do like the brush that it's smaller than that other one. And I got it in the shade medium brown, which I actually think is going to go very well with my hair right now because it is more warm tone. Oh, wow. Look at the difference. Do you guys see the difference? That's a huge difference. And I think I tend to like brow gels that are very like, that are very like stiff for my brows because I have really, really stubborn brows. They definitely don't add like a ton of color though. So I feel like I want to do some brow. No, I was going to do some brow pencil, but I think it's okay. So I'm going to put this as an inner corner. Might be kind of too cool tone, but. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too icy for this look, but that's okay. Can see myself using this a lot for just like quick inner corner highlights. So let me do my lashes real quick. I'm just going to use the Milani highly rated anti-gravity mascara and then we have a few lip products and I think we're done. All right, mascara is done. I adore that mascara. I mean, look how beautiful the lashes look. And then last but not least, we have a few lip products that I picked up. I have the Milani fruit fetish 
lip oil in raspberry peach this is so pretty let me just swatch it for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like i used it the other day just because i needed a chapstick and i had nothing else but this nearby so it does have one of those like chunky chunky lip um what do you call this applicator i can't think of the word and i feel like it adds a really pretty tint to the lips without looking too crazy also the taste and smell takes me back to when i was young in the best way see how pretty that looks it adds a little bit of color makes you look a little bit more put together like if you just wanted to wear this with like no, I lost it. Oh, the brow gel and a little bit of mascara. So pretty. I would I love that. I ended up getting two of the Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump Peachy Beige. How pretty is that? Oh, I can see myself wearing this one a lot. I can see this one becoming like a purse kind of lip. This one's going to be, yeah, really pretty too right there. So the other one's a little bit more like wine color more burgundy also really pretty so i think i'm gonna wear neither of those but i did get the nyx fat lip drip oil and i got it in the shade scrolling and i've heard really good things about this one it also has that fat applicator that i really like and i think this one's gonna look nice with the eyes but i could be wrong No, I don't think so. I think it actually looks kind of nice. I actually really like the consistency of this one. It's really thick, but like not in a bad way. I feel like in the way that you know that it's not going to move around the lips too much. I feel like for this one from Milani, it's a lot thinner of a consistency. So when you put it on, you can kind of feel it moving, but it is more sheer. So you don't have to worry about it too much. This one has more pigment, but I can see myself wearing both. This one doesn't have much of a scent. Um... I feel like it adds more pigment. I actually want to pick up more of these. I love also the packaging with the neon green cap and I kind of like it. So what do you guys think of the finished look? I actually really like how it turned out. I think out of all the products, I was the most excited about these from e.l.f. <coughs> oh no. <coughs> <clears throat> and honestly i am excited about these two the highlight and the contour but the blush i don't know if i will use it i might ask my sister to see if she might be interested because she likes more blushy things <coughs> <clears throat> and i'm excited to try this one that i might see myself wearing what else i'm excited to have the color pop again i'm excited to have these concealers the foundation um i actually really ended up liking the nyx glue we'll see how my brows continue to be through the day but they're kind of already dried up and they're kind of staying in place and i kind of love that and then the concealer we'll have to use it a few more times it does feel a little bit thick but it could just be because we applied it on top of this and this which we'll, we'll have to try a little bit more to see what we think about um again the covergirl palette i think it's good i think it's pretty the eyeshadow is applied very nice the shimmers were a little bit chunky but i still would recommend the bite size from elf because i think they're just really good and they're all cheaper those are all the products so let me know what you guys thought about the final look let me know what you guys think and if you guys end up picking up any of these products let me know or if you guys already did and what you guys think about them but that is going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate if you would do so. And we'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.